This is a JCB angle grinder. Let's see if we can find a model number, almost. If we could find a model number there. JCB AG2200, I'm guessing, and it's a 2200 watt grinder. So it's one that I found, and I want to do a bit of a post mortem on it because. If you can hear that, the bearings are kaput. I don't know if it's the bearings or if it's... So this thing should, should come off. And the handle should come off. Let's get that off as well. There we go. It has three tabs to line up with the three notches on the grinder itself. Okay, if I was doing this for a repair, I'd clean it first, but, well, I'm not. This belonged to a roofer who would use it to cut slates, Tiles, probably not slates, probably just clay tiles and concrete tiles, ridge tiles, that kind of thing. So all of the dust that goes through it, as with most angle grinders that are used for masonry, it'll be quite abrasive. And that wears stuff out. There we go, tap, tap, tap. So that bearing in there is a bit dead. The gears are fine, suffering from a bit of a lack of grease. Now, it's that bearing there that's dead. I wonder how you get that apart. I would like to see it. Hitting it doesn't seem to work. Could be a unit that you have to buy. This little bearing has just jumped out. The motor armature feels okay. The bearing in there feels okay. This is a 6000Z bearing. It's dead. It's smooth, but it's loose. But it's whatever's in here. Now, how would we get that apart? It does look like it just has some kind of a rubber ring on there. Keeping it on. Oh, sounds like something's moving. Okay. This is one of those things that I'm going to wonder. It might be worth fixing, given that the motor seems okay. There's a steel ring there. Then in here, we've got a bearing. It's a 5203Z. Looks like it should just smash straight through if I whop it. So I'm gonna get a big soft hammer. So you're liable to break that if you hammer it. Of course it might have a circlip or something on the inside, but we'll find out once we smash it apart. Jumped straight up again. It doesn't seem to have any two halves or anything like that that snap together. Unless there's some kind of a screwed fitting on it. Let's try clamping that on. I'm getting a twist on that. A twist on that shaft there. Everything on the bench is moving. Let's try the little 
Tappy tappy. That is pounding on the bearings, but it's not moving the bearing race at all. So it's just tightened up the seal on it. Most peculiar. We've lost the tiny little O-ring thing there as well. I think we're going to do more harm than good on this one. Can't see why they don't want to come out though. Maybe they're bonded in. Well, sure. We're not getting better. We're only going to get worse. Something shot off there, another little bit of plastic. I don't want to saw it in half because that will ruin it, of course. Back over here again. The shoulder on this is on this side of the bearing. So the bearing has to slide off that way. But it can't slide off that way because, of course, this is in the way. So there must be some way to split these two bits. And it could be a heat fit and it's a one-time operation and it's just that this cog here, this bevel gear, pressed on there in a machine which is which is quite the possibility what I might do is put that in the vise put a stiltson around here and see if that helps oh we're on the limits of what's possible okay we're live gonna come well we've tried nothing and we're all out of ideas apart from chipping the teeth there we haven't done very much I could just chop in half with the saw do the autopsy Back over here, that's how it comes apart. So, there's some bit of bearing that's fallen out the inside. That bearing looks to be molded into the plastic. So there's no way to get that bearing out. It doesn't seem to be a snap fitting seems to be one solid piece of plastic molded around the bearing so there you're cursed for a start then next up how are you going to get it out even if it is this must be pressed on there with a big flange on it so it just gets pressed on this way this whole piece here and locks it in position on this steel shaft so the shaft is pushed in to the bearing unit with the plastic and it's pushed on that way that's it you're completely you're completely stuck no repairs right i'll price up one and see if it's worth fixing i sincerely doubt it given that these are probably what 50 pounds for a new machine and the trigger mechanism on that a bit ropey okay let's price it up and see what happens so surfing through the internet for spare parts it doesn't seem to come up. The equivalent model nowadays would be about 100 quid, 100 pounds sterling. So there you go, 100 pounds sterling model that you can't get parts for and you can't fix. Like the bearings are pretty simple, you could just fix them if they would make it so. But snap in, snap out, and you can't buy the parts. There you go, thanks for watching, see you later.